Hey, welcome back to Summit Sunrise. Here is Sandy Greenhut, the uh, the person behind the event when it comes to Fall for the Arts, which is happening all weekend long. Sandy's been here on the show each day to kind of give us a preview of what we can expect this weekend. And Sandy, you, you kind of brought show and tell this morning. Yes, I did. Um, I wanted to show your audience, I promised yesterday, that uh, I would show the mural that we're going to paint on the fence on Saturday. Okay, now this is, where are we painting this? Mural? Oh, well, uh, we're painting it in Frisco on Main Street, and uh, this is an example of what she does, okay? This is, these are the colors, okay? This is not exactly what she's painting, but I'm going to show you now what she is painting. This is the first part of it, okay? I don't know whether you can uh, get it all in. And this is the second panel that she's painting. This continues on. It's really, really, really big, okay? Because it's a big fence. It's about 44 feet long. But I love this. You have so many different Look animals. at this. And this you is have, the third you panel. Know, the mountains. You can see the fish here. And, um, and you know, it's kind of hard to see with, with our yeah. lights. But you're going to see a lot of color here in the... There's like waves and then there's a whole different scheme up here, but really beautiful. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's called River of Life. Yes, I know. So she has all the animals that are uh, uh, native to here and uh, deers and, and the mountains and, um, and let's see what else is in here. And fish. Yeah, fish. Yes, fish. Yes, everything. Perfect. Trees, aspen, everything else. I yeah, love it. and she does um, the. Uh, this uh, this is kind of her color, you know, that she does. It's a really it's bright, bright color. colors. Bright really colors, yes. Fun. And actually, it's uh, uh, Van Runkel, and she's going to ha be having a show at the County Commons um, next week. Her show goes up, so all her Perfect. paintings will be there. But please, uh, just tell your audience to come. Adults, children, we'd love to have children, you know. Oh, yeah. And so we have it divided up. It's going to be sketched out. And then the little kids can paint on the bottom and the big kids can paint on the top. That's and we so supplied fun. the paintbrushes and the paints and also the coveralls, you know, and for so it. when is that two place? Oh, excuse me, 10 to 2 on Saturday. Okay. And if we don't get finished, then we'll do a 10 to 12 on Sunday. Okay. okay? But we hope that we'll get it finished. Yeah. All right. So you guys can come on out and do the weather with us on Saturday over on Main Street. First, go oh. then head down. Oh, you're gonna and do, do a little the... painting. Well, we we'll, we'll probably take some breaks and come help out with that too. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, 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 I'm so excited. Yeah, we're part of Fall Fest, you know, down there. Right. So today, I wanted to talk about Sunday. Okay. okay. Now this, so Fall for the Arts is something that happens Friday, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, Sunday this correct. weekend. Correct. And so, all right, what do we what do we look well, forward to? Well, on Sunday, Sunday? Uh, of course, the uh, Breckenridge Heritage Alliance Museums are open in Breckenridge. Okay. And uh, and then uh, the uh, we're going to have a um, let me review my notes here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then a Summit Public Radio is going to do a concert, and they're called the Sagebrush Strings. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to make sure. Yes, yeah, Sagebrush Strings. Yeah, it's a clarinet and string quartet. There, it's two o'clock, free at Lord of the Mountain Church, and it's a new group that's formed. It's four people that are formed from the. Uh, out of the Summit, Concert, uh, Summit Community Orchestra. And they're gonna be playing, and they're gonna play an hour and a half program, and it's all free at Lord of the Mountain. So exciting. And then at 10 o'clock in the morning in Silverthorne at the outlet stores in the Red Village, the Women of Watercolor are gonna be there. And they're gonna be inside, outside. Uh, they're gonna be painting, displaying things, demonstrating. And you could, you know, just ask questions or, you know, just help out. And then uh, at 12 o'clock, Cecilia Edemeyer is coming. And she's the portrait artist that comes to the farmers markets and things mm -hmm. like that. So she's going to be doing portraits, you know, outside. How exciting. And it's the, the, yeah, right in the Red Village. You can't miss us. Okay. Yeah. And then at six o'clock, Elp and Glow uh, Chamber is going to do a soiree in a private home at six o'clock. So, and if you want any information, just give me a call or go to our website, which is fallforthearts.org. That so, sounds perfect. I, okay. I know. So I just wanted to tell your audience. We we have lodging specials, we have restaurant specials, and it starts tomorrow. I'm really excited, and the weather's supposed to cooperate. You yeah, know. it really is. I think it's going to. I think it's really going to be feeling just like fall. Oh, I know. All weekend. We call yeah. it fall for the arts, and I'm glad that you know that. Well, I'm not I'm sort of glad the leaves are changing. I mean, they're beautiful, but know, you know what that means. You know. Oh, mm -hmm. we we know it's coming, but I I love this time of year. I mean, I think everybody here. It's just a magical time to be here and to be able to you know support all of these different arts or 
organizations in the county. It really is amazing how everybody's come together to put this event on all weekend. Right, and exactly. So since this program is broadcast tomorrow early, um, you know, I just like to remind people, it starts off tomorrow at 1.30 with a lecture up in Breckenridge Joint Quilts, and then it goes to uh, 3 o'clock with the band at the outlet stores, and 4 o'clock is a piece to resistance with uh, uh, Elmer's doing uh, 24 opera houses around the world and we're gonna have a wine and cheese reception before so you know which is all free and then we top it off in the uh, evening with our big performance at Warren Station with the Summit Community Orchestra, the Summit Choral Society, the uh, Commotion Dancers, the Art Gallery. It's all free. And so, you know, come eat out at Keystone. We have two for ones and then stay for the performance at seven. So, so I know. much to do. There's so much that goes on with this event. So again, fallforthearts.org. Give Sandy a call at that number at the bottom of the screen that you can get her directly and ask Absolutely. questions. And it's just going to be a great weekend. We'll be out there for sure. On Saturday in Frisco helping to paint that mural and uh, so much so much with this but definitely coming out and support all these amazing organizations we are gonna go ahead and take a quick break because we are almost out of time here on Summit Sunrise but we'll be back so don't go away